Hello everyone and welcome back to this video where we will be discussing the part 2 of exercises based on ER model concepts. Let us see the first question in this video. Consider the ER diagram in the given figure. Assume that an employee may work in up to two departments or may not be assigned to any department. So the first assumption given is an employee may or may not be assigned to a department and if assigned, he can work in up to two departments. Also assume that each department must have one and may have up to three phone numbers. So this is the next assumption given in the question. Now they are asking us to supply min-max constraints on this given diagram and to state clearly any additional assumptions you make. Under what conditions would the relationship has phone be redundant in this example? Let us see the solution to this problem. First, we will see the additional assumptions, which I will be explaining later with the help of an ER diagram. So, assuming the following additional assumptions, the first one is each department can have between 1 to 10 employees. These numbers are up to you to assume. The next assumption I have made is each phone is used by only one department. The third one is each phone is assigned to at least one employee and may be assigned to up to five employees. Again, these numbers are up to you to assume. The last assumption I have made is each employee must have at least one phone and may have up to three phones. Now, with these assumptions, the resulting ER diagram will have the min-max constraints as shown in the figure. Since we have to write the min-max constraints on all the entity types in the figure, we need to have additional assumptions. Because with the given information in the question, we cannot write min-max constraints for all the entity types. Now let us see the min-max constraints in this figure. For the employee entity type, in the relationship works in, an employee may or may not be assigned to a department as given in the question. So therefore, a partial participation which is represented as zero. Also, it is given in the question that if he is assigned, he can work in up to two departments. So the maximum value is two. Therefore, the min-max constraints of employee entity type in the relationship works in is zero comma two. There is no information on how many employees each department can have. So for that, we have made our first additional assumption that is each department can have between 1 to 10 employees. With this assumption, we know that each department has to have at least one employee. Therefore, a total participation which is represented as 1 and the maximum value I have assumed is 10. Therefore, the min-max constraint of department entity type in the relationship works in is 1, 10. Again, in this question, it is given that each department must have one phone. That means all the departments will definitely have at least one phone. Therefore, a total participation. And it is also given that each department can have a maximum of three phones. And hence, the min-max constraint is 1, 3. Next, we have assumed that each phone is used by only one department. That is, no two departments can share the same phone. One phone can belong to only one department and that same phone cannot be shared by multiple departments. So, all the phones will belong to one or the other department, hence a total participation. And since we have assumed that each phone can be used by only one department, therefore the maximum value is 1. Our next assumption is each phone is assigned to at least one employee and may be assigned to up to five employees. As per this assumption, all the phones are assigned to one or the other employee. Therefore, a total participation and each phone can be assigned to a maximum of 5 employees. So the maximum value is 5. Therefore, the min-max constraints of the phone entity type in the relationship has phone is 1, 5. And our last assumption is each employee must have at least one phone and may have up to three phones. 
Since all the employees will have at least one phone, we have over here a total participation. The maximum number of phones an employee can have is 3, therefore 1, 3. Hope you have understood how to make additional assumptions and how to write the min-max constraints. The next question that they have asked is, under what conditions would the relationship has phone be redundant in this example? So the relationship has phone would be redundant under the following conditions. The first one is, each employee is assigned all of the phones of each department that he or she works in. That is, when all the employees of a particular department are assigned all the phones of that department, then this relationship has phone will be redundant. Because this relationship particularly specifies the phones assigned to each employee. But if all the phones of a particular department are assigned to all the employees working in that department, then this relationship will be redundant. The next condition is, an employee cannot have any other phone outside the department he or she works in. In this case, if an employee cannot have any phone outside the department, then this relationship is not required. Because the information about the phone each employee uses within the department can be derived from these relationships. Hope you have understood these two conditions where the relationship has phone would be redundant or not necessary. Moving on to the second question in this video. Consider the ER diagram shown in the given figure. Assume that a course may or may not use a textbook. So this is the first assumption that is given but that a text by definition is a book that is used in some course. The next assumption given is a course may not use more than five books. And the third assumption given in the question is instructors teach from two to four courses. They are asking us to supply min-max constraints on this given diagram and to state clearly any additional assumptions you make. If we add the relationship adopts between instructor and text, what min-max constraints would you put on it and why? Let us see the solution. Assuming the following additional assumptions. The first is, each course is taught by exactly one instructor, which means that one course, for example DBMS, can be taught by only one instructor. The next assumption made is, each textbook is used by only one course. That is, if I have a textbook named Fundamentals of Database Systems, that particular textbook can be used by only one course, that is DBMS. The third assumption is, an instructor does not have to adopt a textbook for all courses. Since we know from the question, an instructor can teach from two to four courses. And for all these courses, an instructor may or may not adopt a textbook. The last assumption I have made is, if a text exists, then it is defined or written for some course or it is used in some course. And that textbook can be adopted only by that instructor who teaches that course. Now the resulting ER diagram will have the min-max constraints as shown in the figure. Let us discuss the min-max constraints. As given in the question, an instructor teaches a minimum of two courses and a maximum of four courses. Therefore, the min-max constraint of this entity type instructor in the relationship teaches is 2,4. And as we have assumed, each course is taught by exactly one instructor. Since all the courses are taught by one or the other instructor, we have a total participation. And as per our assumption, each course can be taught by only one instructor, therefore 1, 1. Again, in the question it is given that each course may or may not use a textbook. Therefore, a partial participation represented as 0. And it is also given that a course can use up to 5 textbooks. Therefore, the maximum value is 5. Next, all the textbooks are defined or written for some or the other course. Therefore, a total participation. And as we have assumed, each textbook is used by only one course. That is, DBMS textbook can be used by only the DBMS course. Hence, the maximum value is 1. The min-max constraint for this entity type text 
in this relationship uses is 1 comma 1. Next, an instructor does not have to adopt a textbook for all courses. Even though the textbooks are written to be used by one or the other course, it need not have to be adopted by an instructor. Therefore, a partial participation represented as 0. From these two assumptions, we can state that one textbook can be adopted by a maximum of only one instructor. Let me take the same example of the textbook named Fundamentals of Database Management Systems. This textbook can be adopted only by that instructor who teaches database management systems. And with the assumptions, we know that there is only one instructor for each course. So therefore, one text can be adopted by a maximum of one instructor. From the assumptions, we know that an instructor does not have to adopt a textbook for all courses. That is, he may or may not adopt a textbook. Therefore, a partial participation. As per the given question, an instructor can teach up to four courses. So, the maximum number of courses an instructor can teach is four. And each of these courses an instructor teaches can use up to five textbooks. So, the maximum number of textbooks an instructor can adopt is 4 into 5, that is 20. Hope you have understood how to write the min-max constraints in this figure. With this, we come to the end of the exercise problems based on entity relationship model. Hope you have understood all the problems that we discussed. Thank you.